Well, a simple Snapchat post lands a corrections deputy into serious trouble after the sheriff says he leaked confidential information with illegal street racing groups. Thanks for joining us for Fox 4 News at 6. I'm Nadine Giannis. I am Chris Searle, and that 18-year-old corrections deputy arrested for posting that sensitive information on Snapchats. Yeah, Sheriff Carmine Marcino says that that corrections deputy wanted to warn those street racing groups, which the sheriff's office has been trying to crack down on after a shooting back in March. That information that was leaked out did affect other people because that intel, okay, is confidential. So they say this man did it. 18-year-old Gure Usen, Sheriff Carmine Marcino, saying the photos posted contained what could involve suspects, criminal informants, and people also working undercover. Fox 4's Caitlin Knapp live in studio now to explain how the sheriff's office said Usen did it. Well, all it really took was a computer and a phone. Sheriff Carmine Marcino says Uzen took four photos on the information on a computer at their core facility. Then he posted it on Snapchat. The information is only in a portal for certified employees they could access it. And Uzen included in that. And it's access. I asked the sheriff if he's reevaluating because of this particular incident. Snapchat is how an internal investigation started at the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Four photos leaking confidential information about street racing investigations. Detectives quickly found information on a photo was an exact match to one of our programs that stores law enforcement sensitive information. That information allegedly leaked by Lee County Corrections Officer Gure Uzen, an 18 year old only on the job for nine months. Sheriff Carmine Marcino says using a date and time, they tracked down the picture to a sheriff's office computer. Former Deputy Uzen intentionally gave this information out to warn these groups and obstruct our investigations. And in this investigation, Sheriff Marcino says they identified Uzen through surveillance video and logins, leaking information on Snapchat that law enforcement doesn't want out there, informants, suspects, the progress of an investigation. The people that are involved in the investigation now get intelligence that they're not supposed to see, and that hurts our investigation. About 1,100 certified employees with the Lee County Sheriff's Office can access this level of information. I asked the sheriff if this incident has them rethinking stricter access. Of course, we always think about access and, and limiting access and who has access. Access Uzin no longer has. Deputies arrested him at his Collier County home Wednesday, charging him with disclosing confidential criminal justice information. Unfortunately, you know, there are relationships that we can't control outside of work. The now fired Uzen is still in a Collier County jail tonight, and this is the second recent case of Lee County Corrections officers getting fired. Back in February, two were accused of throwing hot water on inmates at a Lee County jail, and both of them were also fired. Reporting live in studio, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.